Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we have a review. All right, so this item was sent to me for a review, and I was just like, when they contacted me, this is from the company Macting on Amazon. Um, they contacted me and asked me if I would review this new diamond painting accessory, and I was like, uh, sure, send it over. I've, I've seen them before, so you know, I'll, I'll try it out for you. So they sent me this. And this is how it came in one of their gigantic uh, envelopes. Now, it's not a gigantic product. So, like, yeah, that's, that's all it is. So, we're going to get rid of this gigantic envelope. Um, and this is what it is. It's a diamond painting pen. And it comes with a cool case, some wax. As you can see, there's a roll of something in there. You're like, what is that? What is that? We'll show you what that is. All right. So, let's see what all we got in here. One, what is that? Is that a three-placer? Okay, that's the weirdest, like, multi-placer I've ever seen. But I guess that's a three, this is a six, and this is a nine, maybe? Or it might be ten, seven, and three? I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out. Um, so, yeah, so I got these three pl placers with it. And then I also got the rolling tool. And that's, of course, what the tape is for. And then we got some wax and then the actual pin itself. So we're gonna twist that on there. All right. And then we have this cool accessories bag to put all the things in, which I think is really, really cool. Because if you don't have one of the things like, uh, like this, that holds all your pins in it, like that's the little thing that I seen Stitcherista get. And I was like, uh, yeah, I gotta get on that. Uh, it holds all my pins and crochet hooks and stuff like that. If you don't have one of those and you're worried about losing your pin, this is like really awesome. So it comes with the case. We know what a case looks like. Um, so let's let's try this out. And you're probably wondering, you know, what this is. So I took a break from Island Time by Diamond Art Club. As you guys know, it is very heavy with confetti. And when I got this image in, I wanted to work on this quick for my dad. It's not a gift. I just want to get him something because, you know, he's my dad. So yeah, we're gonna, and unlike other things where you just stick it in, this one screws in. So we're gonna screw it in. So this is an unboxing slash demo. So we're gonna screw this in, if you haven't figured that out yet. Fits in there. It's supposed to be a light of some sort, but the light's not coming on. I see it, that it lights up in the picture. Oh, do I need a battery? Do I need a battery? Hold on a second. Let me check to see if I need a battery. All right. 30 seconds for you. Forever and a day for me. But I found some. And you know what you got to do when you got to look for batteries. You got to, you know, look for the batteries. And then you got to take them out of something else. So it does require two AAA batteries, which are not included. And you just twist this on here. And you got to be careful because this thing is sharp. It's like stabbing me in the hand as I'm twisting this on here. All right. So it's supposed to... Look at that, it lights up. So, we're gonna try this out. So let's see here. We're gonna open up this wax, and we're gonna use the wax that they sent us. Normally I would just, you know, package this away and wait till, you know, Karen Dawes ask me if I need, if I have any wax, but we're gonna use this little bit of wax. I can still send her the rest of it. So we're gonna stab the wax, and that's how you refill your placers, and that's not doing anything. Besides making a hole in it. Why are you not taking the wax? Take the wax. Get in there. Okay, so it's not taking wax. Oh, duh. Take the plastic off. Holy moly. You guys, you guys, I have not slept. I, I'm so sorry. I am so slow. All right, so take the plastic off first and then do it. Okay, now you're still not taking it. And I took the plastic off. Now what is, get your life together, pen. All right. So it's not taking the wax. It's not wanting to come off. Okay, so we got a little bit of wax in there. Okay. So that's kind of frustrating. The wax doesn't seem to want to go into the pen. And I keep stabbing it and it's not going in. So we're going to get rid of the three placer. See if the six placer is any different. Oh, 
unless there's double wax on there, that three placer don't work. That's what these reviews are for, folks. So we're gonna do the six placer. So we're gonna get that wax in there. Nope, it's not in there either. I might be able to give you guys a demo. Okay, we got a little bit of something in there, I think. All right, now. For those of you who don't know, again, I'm working on this Jets painting. It's from the Hankins store. It actually is really, really good. Um, I'm just gonna slide it over here so you guys can see it. It's really good. Uh, I've learned a few tips and tricks that I will you know, make a video for. Um, we're gonna need some diamonds, magical diamonds coming out of nowhere. So let's, let's try this. Let's see, let's zoom you in a little bit. So we're gonna try to go right here, okay? One, it's a pain in the butt to get the drills in there. So uh, I will be letting them know that that, that part needs to be fixed because there's no point of having a multi-placer if you can't put the drills down. So, or the drills, the wax won't go into the pin. So again, if you want the light on, you can turn the light on. And I like light up pins for those folks that don't have light pads. It helps you see the symbols clearer. And yeah, so we're gonna get that on there and Shablam! Well, when you get the wax in the pin, it actually works pretty nice. The trick is getting the wax in the pin <laughs> and taking the plastic off. Please remember to take the plastic off, folks. Don't be a Miss Coffee. Take the plastic off and get your rest. All right. Off. Also, for those of you wondering, no, at this point in time, while I'm recording this, Mr. Coffee's not home. Um, okay, I can't get the, there we go. Mr. Coffee still isn't home. He should be home later this evening. He should be home in time for dinner. He's already back in North Dakota. So we got some wax that came off there. I think they're gonna have to do some uh, work on these pins cause uh, they a little janky. So, Maybe I'm not putting the wax in there right, but then again, how do you put the wax in there wrong? We're gonna scrape it on. So let's scrape it on and try it that way. So scraping it on worked like a squeegee. So I just put it on the edge and I scraped and that got the wax in there. But if it's gonna pull off on the diamonds, that doesn't really matter. All right, so we're gonna try this again. First, we're gonna straighten up the drills here because those last ones went on a little wonky. Sorry, that last one was bothering me. All right, so we're gonna go right here in front of uh, that row, that first row we did. So let's straighten up our diamonds. And then we're gonna find the set and get on there. Okay, so we're going to try to find another set to get on there. And kablammo? All right, so the sixth placer is not too bad. I'm thinking what needs to be done with these is that the inside divot that holds the wax needs to be deeper. I see what they were going for here because you don't want the, the inside to be too deep because then, you know that's what breaks down, and the wax just came off on my finger. That's what breaks down uh, the multi-placer as time goes on, like with the four-placer here. See how it has the ridges in it? No, you can't, because it's blurry. Focus, focus on the four-placer, folks. Focus. There, sort of. Yeah, see how there's ridges in it? You can tell where each drill sits. Now, that doesn't bother me. Um, so that's not a big deal, but this, look at how chewed up this wax is just trying to get wax into this pen. So yeah, I would say work on that inside piece of the pen. Let's see, three, four, five. And it's also hard to get them on the pen. So yeah, again, we're going to take the six placer out let's try the nine placer maybe the nine placer would be better but this product is or was 8.99 on the website on amazon um 
as I'm recording this video, it is currently unavailable, so you won't see this video because this is today is July 5th, 17th. I'm sorry, today's July 17th. This video will go up once they make the item available again. Learned my lesson the hard way with that one. Um, so yeah. So again, the wax doesn't want to go in. Turn the light on to help you see it. See how there's not a whole lot of, no, you can't see it, it's blurry. So like the wax does not like the pins. So maybe it's the wax. So let's try a different wax. Cause we're gonna try to get this the best shot we can, okay? I was making sure the plastic was off. <laughs> we don't want to repeat. All right, so I got wax on my fingers. So yeah, so we're gonna find a spot and we're gonna dig down deep to get that wax in there. Yeah, that wax or this these pins, no. All right. And that's more, it, 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 I find that if the accessory is more frustrating than anything to use, then it's not a good accessory. So let's try the wind up tool. Now, cause this, if you don't know, this uh, is like double sided tape. So you find the end of it. Essentially you put it on the wheel here. So we're gonna pull off a good bit here. We're gonna place it on there. And you have to peel that white part off, obviously. So let's try that first. Which that should be fun. Oh, good gravy. All right, first let's measure it. We're gonna measure this out. So far, I'm not too impressed with this pen. This pen seems kind of janky. Like, I like the idea that they were going for, but the presentation is lacking. It's lacking uh, the fact that it doesn't work. The pens don't want to take the wax, and now I can't get this freaking thing on here. All I'm trying to do is measure you so that I can cut you. All right. Then we're going to get our handy-dandy scissors out, and we're going to cut it. Boom. And that's how you get the tape on there. And then you have to go and peel the white part off. And luckily I have nails, but even still, it can be a pain in the butt to get this off. I think the only other person I've seen use this is Rachel Ray. And we all know, you know, Rachel's talented. I don't think she had this issue with trying to get the paper off. Normally I would just pause and try to get the tape off, but I want you guys to see the whole process. So we're gonna figure this out together. So what's the best way to get this tape off? So we're gonna fold it down. If you use the wheel, the wheel tool, cause I don't think a whole lot of people do. If you use the wheel tool, do you like it? Write that down in the comments. And if you haven't used the wheel tool, uh, would you consider using one? Now you're gonna see my light shift because Maggie's walking over to get her blanket. All right, come on. I think I got it. Problem is too, is the more you handle the tape, the less tacky it is. So if it's this hard to get off of here, like this is a pain in the butt. Oh my gosh. Again, so far I'm not very happy with this tool. And for nine bucks, you know, that might not seem like a lot to some people, but you know, to some people it is. And if it's not gonna work, you just wasted nine bucks. So I'm gonna do my best to get this, as George Lopez would say. Like they should have an easy starter point for these things. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna grab my handy dandy junk bag if I can find it and we're gonna find 
our tweezers because I don't want to keep touching all over it and making it less tacky. Get the heck out of the way. So yeah, so as you can see, I'm struggling with this tool. Um, I will be letting the company know. I'm not very happy with the tool. Like it's not a, it, it needs some adjustments and reapprovements and stuff, which is why I'm guessing it's probably not available right now on their site. By the time you see this, it should be available, but because I am not putting up a product that isn't available to purchase, so. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys, I think I got it. Jeez, um, that took forever and a day. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, that I've gotten all dirty with my hand gunk. I meant like the oils in my hand, not like actual hand gunk. We're gonna put it on the wheel and we are going to spin it on there so that it goes on. So we're gonna put it on there and then we're gonna, we're gonna put it on there Come on. Oh, good gravy. All right. So we're gonna try this little trick and now I got it all. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. Give me a second. I'm gonna go calm down and then we'll come back to this. All right, so I did get it on there. It took me about five minutes but i did get it on there this is a temp three just to give you a heads up so you're not like oh miss coffee got that in two seconds no i didn't it took me forever and a day to get that on there so we got it on there we're gonna do a little demo to see if this works so we're gonna straighten out our drills again there's a big old thing of wax in there from the pen We're gonna open this up a little bit because I need a spot that has a lot of white in it. There we go. So we're gonna roll this. So find some drills lined up and roll them on here. Hope that tape doesn't come off because I'm not putting it back on there again. That was a pain in the butt, you guys. And I don't see or hear about people using this tool much. I think it's kind of intimidating because it's new, but which is not that new. I'm just going around finding diamonds to put and fill in these spaces. So yeah. Once you get your will with the diamonds on it, then, no, no, zoom in. There we go. You pick a spot and you roll. So I'm gonna start here and I'm just going to roll, 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 roll. Oh, and we're apparently gonna roll down the whole page. It works. <laughs> Even though half those don't go on the symbols that they went on, but it definitely works. That's the only thing out of this whole container of spacers that works. So for those people who don't know how to use a rolling tool, that's how you use it. But normally you would want to find more drills lined up better. So to give it a fair shot, we're gonna try that again after we get all these ones that don't belong on these symbols off. And if nothing else, the hand can store does really good on their canvases because this isn't causing any issues. We'll get those off later. So we're gonna knock off the ones we have on here now. They stick on there really good. Like I'm actually having to put a little bit of force behind getting them off here. So we're gonna try that again. So let's give it a fair shot, shall we? So shake, shake, shake. We're gonna line some drills up. 
It just seems really tedious. All right, so we're gonna roll these on here. All right, so we got some more on there. And then I'm gonna use the light. We're gonna find where it starts, which is right here. And then we're gonna roll. Also helps if you, you know, put it on there straight. But yeah, this tool works. Like, turn the light off. This tool works. It is a pain in the butt to get the tape on. And, you know, the drills do go down right as you roll them. So, you know, the, the rolling tool on this works really good. So, and that, and also for those of you who have never used a rolling tool, that is how you use the rolling tool. Um, I gotta straighten these because they weren't straight on the roller. But yeah, as for the other placers, no, I would highly not even tell you to go look for this product. It, the, the three, six, and nine placer don't work because you can't get the wax into them and then the wax comes off onto your drills. Now, not come off onto your drills like the AB Diamonds. The AB Diamond, the coating on the AB Diamonds takes your, your wax out of your pen. It's not taking the wax out of the pen for the diamonds. It's taking the wax out of the pen in general, just coming in contact with anything because the divots and the holes in the spacers are not deep enough. So, like, there's there's not enough space in there for it to actually catch. Sorry, you guys are still zoomed in. There's not enough space in there for it to actually catch and and for it to hold the wax. Um, so it doesn't even really like, yeah, there, there's not enough space in there. So they may, if they make these deeper, then definitely yes. I like the fact that it screws in. I like the fact that it has the light. Uh, they need to also put on there somewhere a little bit more to the top that it does need double or uh, triple A batteries. You will need two triple A batteries to use it. Uh, the tape was a little bit of a pain to get on to the roller, um, but eventually when I got it on, it seems to be the only tool in the whole kit that works correctly. The, the pin does light up, so that, again, that's a plus. Um, but yeah, um, I will make these suggestions to the company. For right now, I would say hold off on, if you're thinking about getting this tool, I would say hold off until they do some improvements, because for me, it, it just wasn't jiving. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't get, which the tape on this one, okay, you know, you have to have really good eyes and all that fun jazz. In Lewistown, there's a flood warning in effect until Friday. Oh, hold on. Sorry, echo. For those of you who have an echo, you know. Either way. Um, let's see here. Yeah, like, I can't even get the drills on the actual pin. Like, they keep wanting to slide off because there's not enough space. So when you do get them on there... We're going to fold this back a little bit more. It's hard to line them up and have them on there correctly. I mean, it is nice for pushing your drills around, but that's not what you're buying it for. You're buying it for multi-placing multi purposes. And if you can't do that, that like, yeah, I can wipe the wax right out of it. You shouldn't be able to do that with the multi-placer. So this product, I would say definitely not. I would not recommend this product right now uh, again I will let the company know that they need to make some improvements um, I will not be posting this video until the item is available in their shop because if somebody is interested in possibly getting it for themselves and wants to try it out because they think they can do it better than me which is fine if you can please show me something because I'm struggling here but for me it, it wouldn't be worth the nine dollars if the placers don't work yeah the rolling tool works and that's all cool and dandy but eventually that tape will run out and it doesn't take wax. So, you know, you have to have that tape and then you'd have to order more tape from AliExpress or maybe possibly Amazon. And it comes off easy enough. You just pull and ball it up into a little whatever onto your desk. That part's fine, but the rest of it is just, it's not working out for me. So, um, 
yeah, again, I'm not sure when this video will go up. Today is the 17th. I will contact them. I will leave notes at the end of the video with a screenshot of the listing for on Amazon if you are interested in getting this product and trying it out for yourself. But as of the 17th of July, I would not recommend this product. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down in the comment section below. If you are new to the channel, hey, I'm Miss Coffee. Welcome. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. <laughs> Either way, uh, please, if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. With that said, folks, I'm going to bid you adieu. But before I do that, I had somebody ask me about cover minders and what exactly a cover minder is. So I'm going to explain that real quick at the end of this video. So this here is a cover minder. See how it says coffee? Cute, right? On the back of it, it has two magnets. Okay? So a cover minder is something that you use for a project. Like, okay, so this is my current whip. It's the Jets uh, football helmet for my dad. So this cover paper is laying down right now. But if it were up, and getting in my way that's why you saw it sitting on there so then if I like right now I have to go leave to go walk the dogs I don't want to leave that open because I've done it in a weird way so you know there's gaps in there so what you do is you close it down you put the top part of the cover miner which is usually designed on top the magnet on the back and there you go it holds down your cover paper so that your work is free from, you know, being damaged or getting debris or having food spilled on it or what have you. Um, so, yeah, so that's how you use a cover minder. But with that said, folks, that's it for me. Again, I have to go walk dogs, so I got things to do, folks. And I'm pretty sure you got better things to do than watching me get ready to go walk dogs. So thank you guys so much again for watching. I hope this was informative for you. I hope it helped you making a decision and making another purchase from any company. Um, but like I said, I'm going to have to get you with you and do like I always do and remind you to always try to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye guys. <laughs>